Welcome to Tascam Tech Talk. In this Tech Talk video, we'll show you the CD400U media player and recorder. The CD400U is a combination media player, recorder, AM FM tuner, and Bluetooth device. It can be controlled remotely as well with the included remote control via RS-232 or with the upcoming optional IFE100 Ethernet card. Professional audio connections include stereo XLR for long runs, RCA stereo, and a separate set of RCA connectors dedicated to the AM FM tuner. As a media player, the CD400U will play back content from CD, SD, USB, AM FM, or via Bluetooth. Let's start with Bluetooth. Pairing is simple. Press source until you get to Bluetooth. Hold the pairing button for about two seconds. You can do the same on the remote. Choose CD400U as the device to pair on your Bluetooth device. Once paired, it will confirm as connected. If your Bluetooth device supports AVRCP, you can control your Bluetooth device with the CD400U remote control. The CD400U can also play back and record from an SD card. Formats include ACC, MP3, WAV, and WMA files. At 96 kilobytes per second resolution, using a 64 gigabyte SD card, you get over 1,400 hours of recording time. That's 58 days of recording time. Press source on the front panel or remote to choose SD and insert the SD card. Pressing display repeatedly on the front panel or remote will show file name, title, artist, album, and the folder the tracks are currently playing from. The CD400U also has an AM FM tuner. First, connect the FM antenna cable that comes with the unit. Then connect the AM antenna using the push-down connectors matching the black wire to the black terminal and the white wire to the white terminal. Position the antenna for best reception. Press source until FM or AM appears in the display, or use the remote. Pressing the double arrow right or left buttons will automatically find the next station, or turn the multi-jog dial to select the station manually. The CD400U also plays back and records to USB. Insert a USB stick into the USB port. Press source until USB displays on the front panel or remote. Files are played back in numerical order. After you press play on the panel or remote, pressing display repeatedly will show file name, title, artist, album, and the folder the tracks are currently playing from. To go to the next track, turn the multi-jog dial, or on the remote, press the left or right arrow button. Finally, CD media playback is available. Supported formats are CD-DA, CD-ROM, CDR, CDRW, MP3 CD, and WMA CD. Insert a CD into the slot and press source until CD appears. Or press source on the remote. Press play on the panel or remote. Turn the multi-jog wheel to go to the next track or use the right or left arrow buttons on the remote. Let's go through some of the advanced functions of the CD400U. With CD, USB, or SD media, you can instantly jump to any track by pressing the numerical keypad on the front panel or remote, and then play. The shift button on the front panel engages many of these functions. You'll notice that the shift button is identified in blue text, and the numeric buttons have blue functions underneath. Pressing shift will light the button. Then, pressing the button with the blue function underneath engages this function. For CD only, you can set A and B marker repeat points, and the audio will continuously play back between these points. This is useful for transcribing minutes recording, rehearsing, or learning music riffs. You can repeat a single track or an entire playback region. By pressing shift and then repeat, REP will appear, and an entire set of tracks will repeat such as the entire CD or SD card. Or by pressing Shift, P mode, you can choose one on the display and only one track will repeat. The remote has dedicated repeat and P mode buttons and performs the same functions. In AM FM modes, you can set presets. Press Shift and A preset, which stands for automatic preset. Then press the multi-jog dial knob in. Up to 20 presets are automatically saved. Choose them by turning the multi-jog dial. Or use the remote to select presets by pressing the up or down arrow buttons. 
content can be dubbed from CD or AM-FM to either USB drive or SD card. Set the source to either AM-FM or CD. Then press Shift and Dub. Turn the multi-jog dial to choose USB or SD if both are inserted. Press the multi-jog dial and recording will start. Press Stop when done, or if a CD is the source, recording will stop automatically. Or from the remote, once the source is selected, press Dub and use the left or right arrow buttons to select USB or SD and enter. Press Stop to end recording. If the source is a CD, recording will stop automatically. Please remember that dubbing copyrighted content may be illegal. TechUS does not authorize dubbing copyrighted content. You can also set the front panel to be locked out. So once the CD400U is programmed, unauthorized programming is not possible. Press Shift and Lock. To unlock, press Shift and Lock again. One great feature is Power On Play. This will remember the source when the unit was powered down and automatically start when turned back on. Press Shift, then PO Play. It is now set to On. To turn off, press Shift and PO Play again. Other useful functions are available. By pressing Home, Menu, you can adjust Automatic Power Save, where the unit will enter standby mode after 30 minutes of non-operation. You can set Dub Operation to mute the output. If the CD400U output is too hot, you can attenuate it up to minus 18 decibels. Resume setting will remember the playback point from when the unit was last stopped. Increment play on will automatically jump to the next track by pressing the play button. Serial mode lets you choose whether the unit is controlled remotely via RS-232C or Ethernet. The CD400U has independent audio outs just for the AM-FM tuner. You can set the tuner through the main stereo outputs or through the independent outputs only. This is nice when you want to route the tuner to a separate zone in your business or institution. Dubbing format allows you to set the audio quality and resolution when dubbing. The resolution affects the recording time available. You can even set the remote to be locked out if you lock the front panel. Factory preset is where you reset the entire unit to the original factory default settings. Thanks for watching Taskam Tech Talk.